the Queen video editor tutorials for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Kapwing and how to get started with this online video editing platform. So let's get into it. Now, Kapwing is an online video editor which has quite a few different tools available. So you have a lot of different things available on Kapwing that you can do. You have a simple video editor, you have a meme generator, you have a subtitler, add video and audio to video, a resize video, trim video, and so many other tools available on Kapwing as well. And not only that, they also have quite a few different video templates that you can get started with. So if you are not sure on on how to get started with creating your own video you're not sure on exactly what you're looking for and you, you don't really know what kind of video edit you're looking to create you can easily use this editor to create these kinds of videos that will enable you to decide on what kind of video edit you want now now to get started with Kapwing, all you have to do is go on to kapwing.com. And if we just go on to kapwing.com, we're just going to click on get started over here. And once you get started, this will open up. So what is this? This is basically the Kapwing video editing platform where you can get started. Now you can either choose to get started with a blank canvas or you can click on upload and upload a video to get started with your video editing. Then on your left, you will have all of your editing tools whatever editing tool that you click on it will open up in detail so to get started we're going to click on try a sample over here and we are just going to be using a sample video to get started with Kapwing so I can show you guys how to edit a video. Now, once you open up a video, you will see on your bottom, you have the preview video. So I can just drag this white line over here and this will just give me a preview of the uh, video that I have uploaded or whatever video that you have opened up in your Kapwing editor. Now, after that, on your left, you have your additions, your tools and things that you can add. So you have video images, elements, audio, uh, transitions, plugins, recordings, more. So you have templates, shapes, emojis, sound effects. And then on your right side, you have your canvas. You have the timing. You have different versions that allows you to go back in time and save a different version of the video. Now, let's say that first off, I want to uh, keep the output size at a one ratio one or maybe 19. So whatever output ratio you want. Let's say I want a one ratio one. Maybe I'm looking to create a Instagram post post so I want to go with one by one and then let's say I find this to be a bit simple so what I can do is on my left side let's say I have more media that I want to add I can click on upload and upload more uh, more media onto this I can add emojis I can add other videos as well so uh, first off let's say I want to add this emoji I can go into the text section and then I can click on add text and start adding that as well but I'm going to go into the layer section so this is our first layer and you can decrease the size like this so let's say I want to play like multiple videos on a singular canvas like this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on lock and now this is locked over here I won't be able to move this video uh, unless I actually you know unlock it and then move it so after that let's say i want to add another layer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on add media and then i can just upload my uh, image or my video over here so let's say i'm just going to go on to vectz which is a online free platform that enables you to find royalty free videos and images as well so if you are looking for images or videos uh, I'm, i would recommend that you go on to a platform like this to find stock images and videos and i'm going to search for videos specifically and i'm going to make like a video collage so i have this section over here now i'm going to scroll down over here and i am going to take a look at the different videos so there are quite a few different options available and i'm just going to go on and click on free download over here and i'm going to go back on to kapwing so let's say on the other section i want to click on elements and in the element section, you have emoticons, you have a lot of different emojis, you can load more as well. And let's say I want to add uh, this one over here. And once I add this over here, maybe I want to add text. So for that, I will just scroll onto text and I will click on bold text. 
and I will just double click the text and I will add please watch till end and I want this text to appear for the first few seconds like so and I'm just going to you can see on your bottom so on your bottom you have all of the things that you have added onto your canvas or onto your preview and you can decide how long you want a certain thing to appear so I have added these two things now after that what I can do is after that, I'm going to go on to videos. Uh, I can add more videos as well. So if I go on to my elements or go on to my actual video section, I can search for meme. And I'm just going to use just one of these random memes over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this right over here. I'm going to click on edit. And I'm going to click on uh, lock ratio or fill. I will just resize this like that, like so. And I can just place it over here and then resize it like this. So just like that, I can add different videos. Now, after I've done that, you will see on your bottom, uh, you have the fourth layer, which is this new, um, new video layer that I have just added. And you can choose how long you want this to appear for. So after that, below that, you also have your audio options. If you want to add some audio, you can do that as well. But this video might be slightly longer. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to scroll and make sure that both of my video lengths are the same so I can trim you can uh, speed up or slow down certain videos or you can choose to trim certain videos as well so this is what the edit current mood looks like uh, and then below that you can add transition I'm just going to go into this section and I'm going to add a bounce transition right over here so you can add different transitions like that and after that you also have different plugins that you can add but i'm just going to skip those for now because as a beginner just basic editing is going to be you know a good effort for you now after that you also have shapes so you can enter different shapes like these as decorative sec sections onto your video edit if you want a like and let's say i added this so this shape over here, I'm going to delete the bottom one, but this like shape, I'm going to drag it to the end of my video over here, and then I'm going to squeeze it to the last few seconds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on transitions or effect, or, and I'm going to add a flicker or a fade or a reveal. I think I'm going to go with a slide one. So this will be added to the end of the video so people would be reminded to like the video. Then if you scroll down, you have other things that, such as sound effects and with your likes, with your emoticons, all of these things, I would recommend that you choose to add a few different sound effects or a few different audios as well. Currently, these are my four, uh, these are my five basic layers and you can layer up as many things as you want. You can click on add media and add as many videos and images you want to begin editing. And on your right side, you can begin uh, setting your canvases and timing out different videos all together. And on your bottom, you will have your preview for the video. And once you have done that, you're just going to click on export project. And then you can click on export as a MP4. And that is how simple and easy it is to use the Kapwing video editor online. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below and I will catch you guys in the next video.